Try as a whistle. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Robbie Ear Parts, and today we're doing a little different video. Uh, I sell a lot of these engine hydro shields. I've definitely seen other videos on YouTube, you guys testing it out, but I haven't seen anyone actually try to dump this bad boy in a bucket and see how well it holds up. I know they're not claiming that it's gonna keep it dry. I'm just very, very curious to see how well this hydro shield can repel the water from a dry filter. Uh, I specifically picked engine's dry filter. Uh, why? Because it's dry and there won't be any, uh, how do you wanna say, cleaner oil in there. So it won't, it won't dilute in the water and get it all oily. And we'll just see how it works. Let's get into it. So I have the X-1017 filter. As you can see, it's the blue dry filter from engine. It has a cool spider on there. And then I have the hydro shield to go with it. And this is the newer one. You might see the older uh, hydro shields that had the printed on there and the, the material is a little bit different. Uh, they kind of changed it uh, maybe a year and a half ago or so. And these are the newer style ones. And then I have a water cup to dump the water in there and we'll go from there. So let's see how it does. Let's just see how it keeps my hand dry. Let's just start off on there. Now what I notice, if I do it really light, I can't get it on my hand, but if I pour it in one spot like that, it goes through onto my, onto my finger. I can feel it for sure. My hand gets pretty wet. All right, so I dried off the filter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the engine filter. And the engine makes the hydro shield specifically for their size filters. It does fit other K&N ones, but uh, cross-reference the part numbers to make sure you get the right size. So as you can see, this one fits really nice. You know, it fits right over the edge, real nice and clean. It's not all baggy and saggy. Uh, it should be nice and tight against the filter. I like how it just kind of cascades off the shield, which is pretty cool. There's no water inside, so you can tell that works. So here's the moment of truth. Here's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and dunk it in. And what I'll do is I'll turn it over to see if there's any water that's gonna come out of the, the inlet. All right, so here we go. We're gonna dunk it in there and see what happens. Oh, see what it is, the pressure from the water the shield can't stop that amount of pressure. It's just good for, like I said, just a light water. But then look how much water now is gonna come out of this filter. So, there you go. I just wanted to show you guys that it's not made to be submerged underwater. It is made just for light, light water. It definitely can't have any pressure or else you will have a hydro-locked engine. Hope that helps you guys. So that was another just real quick one. Just wanted to show it that you can't put the shit underwater. Okay? Another video is coming up. Talk to you later. Bye.